My name is Barry Moldenhauer with 360 Yield Center. Today I'm going to walk you through some of the steps of installing a wide drop system on an R4030. First thing you're going to want to do is locate the center of your machine. That way you can establish where your drops are going to go. This nozzle body is the center of our machine. When you have 15 inch nozzle body spacing, you will skip every other nozzle body to install your wide drops on 30 inch rows. Once you have established where all your drop locations are, you can move on to establish where your 39 inch extension tubes are going to mount. You're going to start at the folding pin of the wing. You're going to measure out towards the outer end of the boom. You're going to start by measuring 23 inches, 68 inches, 140 inches, 201 inches, and 257 inches. These measurements are all plus or minus 5 inches. Once you have all your locations marked out for your 39 inch extension tubes, you're then ready to put on your OEM mount bracket kits. I'm going to start on the back frame of the boom, put your U-bolt on your mark, slide up your mount bracket kit, and install your flange nuts. You'll repeat this for the front frame also. Once you have your, all your marks out, your OEM boom brackets are on, you continue this down the rest of the boom. Um, then you're ready to put on your 39 inch extension tube. You just take your 39 inch extension tube, slide it through both brackets towards the front, take your stop bolt, slide it through, put on the nut. Once your 39 inch extension tube's in, then you're ready for your wide drop boom bracket. Slide it over the 39 inch extension tube. Take your stop bolt, slide it through, put on the nut. Then you're ready to tighten up your OEM bra mount bracket kits. You would continue this down the rest of your primary boom. Once your 39 inch extension tube's in, your OEM mount brackets are tightened up. You're ready to tighten up your set screw and jam nut. You would repeat this for the rest of your OEM mount brackets and your 39 inch extension tubes. Okay, we're going to move to the center section of this R-Series. Um, we're going to start with our R-Series center section mount bracket. There's two of these, but we're going to start with the back one. I'll take our bracket, put our bolt down through on each side. We're going to take our six inch plate. and then install our flange nuts. You're going to repeat these steps for your second bracket also. Once you have your center section brackets on, then you're ready to slide in your 39 inch extension tube. Slide it back just like you do on the primaries. Go ahead and put your stop bolt through the back. Once your stop bolt's in, you can go ahead and tighten up your brackets. Then you're ready for your wide drop boom bracket. Slide it on. Put in your stop bolt. And you can tighten up your stop bolts. Then you're ready to tighten your set screws and jam nuts. You'll repeat these steps that you just watched on the other bracket for the center section. Now that we've installed all of our 39 inch extension tubes onto our primary and center section booms, we're ready for our five foot boom section installation for our wide drop boom. And take our five foot boom extension with our eight inch boom connector Slide it in until the holes line up.
put our bolt through with our washer. It goes on the nut side. Let's slide the two together. And tighten them up. You would repeat this for all your five foot boom sections for your primary boom. Now we're going to assemble the five foot boom sections for your center section. You're going to need to cut a 12 inch piece out of an extra five foot boom section that will be in your SMP package. You're going to do the same thing you did with your primary booms. You're going to install your eight inch boom connector. Put your bolt through. Washer in your nut. Put your 12 inch piece in the middle. Bolt. Nut. Same thing for the other side. It's all your bolts are in. You can tighten up your five foot boom sections. Now that we've assembled our five foot boom sections, we're ready to install them onto our 39 inch extension tubes with our wide drop boom bracket. We'll take our U-bolts, put them over the five foot boom extensions down through the holes. Take our washers with our nuts. And we'll go ahead and tighten them up. You would repeat this for the other side of the center section, and these are all the same on the primary also. Now that our five foot boom sections are in assembled and installed, we're ready to go ahead and assemble our Y drop. First thing we're going to start with is our undercover. Let's take it and slide it onto the riser tube itself. We'll put our shield then the wide drop base unit. Take our clip, put it right through the hole and clasp it. You can take your undercover, these are half inch bolts, just snug them up. That way it doesn't slide when you stand it up. You stand it up, slide your shield down. You have uh, two three quarter inch screws and a hat, two half inch screws. Your th three quarter inch screws are going to go on the top and the center and the two half inch screws we're going to go on the bottom and the sides. There's a Y on your two hoses. This is where your orifice or your variable rate nozzle will go. These are how your variable rate nozzles come shipped. You will not use this hose barb on the bottom. So you're going to take that off. You're going to install your variable rate nozzle onto your Y. Then install it back to the hose for both sides. So we'll run our hose for our Y drop first. You're going to run it down through the top of the undercover and then through the hole in the side of the undercover, down through your shield. And into your hose at the bottom. And you can take a zip tie zip tie that right in line with the riser tube. Then you can run your undercover hose 
run it through the hole in the top, right down onto the barb fitting, and tighten it up. And zip tie both your hoses to your riser tube. Then you're ready for your drag hoses. If you have some penetrating oil, it helps to squirt in these. So you're going to take, slide them onto the barb with the natural flow of the hose towards the row of your corn. Wiggle them on. both sides. Just tighten up your worm gear clamp. Now you're ready to install your 360 wide drop and undercover onto your wide drop boom. Next we're going to install our one piece breakaway onto our wide drop boom. We take our breakaway onto our mark or our nozzle body what we made earlier. Put our U-bolt through, washer and nut, same thing on the other side, make sure we're lined up and tighten it up. You repeat these for the rest of your drops on your center section and your primary boom. With all the breakaways installed, we are now ready to put on our 360 wide drop riser tube. Take our pin out, take our riser tube, slide it up into the one piece breakaway. Line it up, slide your pin through the hole. You can take your hoses through your pin if you want. Run them up. Then you run your hose to the, your nozzle body. Hook that up to your nozzle body where you would like it. You'll repeat the process of installing your drops for the rest of your primary boom and center section. Once you install your drops on your locations, your 360 wide drop installation is complete.